Which brings us to our final formula. I hope you've all been paying attention because everything builds on itself in math. There's Barry. Plus London, a little bit of punk rock, a little bit of drugs, minus the influence of my father, plus the genetic imperative for my grandfather, not a hint of domestic assistance to be found, and that brings us to deep breath, everyone. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Now I've been given my dad's x-ray dirt vision. I can see subatomic particles, and science tells us that the distance between the, the proton and the electron of an atom is so vast they consist of mostly empty space, but I can see that empty space, and I can see it's filled with dust and clutter and junkiness. Now, some say that, that teenage rebellion can follow a, a rather textbook formula. In my case, this certainly was true. Let's take a look at that formula. There's a very southern boy transplanted to a very non-southern place. Add in the first introduction of Johnny Rotten. A little glimmer of anarchy some time on top of a skateboard, and one bottle of over-the-counter hydrogen peroxide, and you get... <laughs> That's right, rebellion in a box. Now, my father, I'm pleased to report, is pissed off. <laughs> this is a picture that I took years ago of the wall of my grandfather's storage shed, just because I was so impressed with it. Look. This is not the floor, this is the wall. <laughs> now what's happening here is that my grandfather has achieved a zen-like state of disarray because no matter how you look at this picture, it still works. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and despite our differences, I really did try my best to heed his advice. Unfortunately, As it turns out, Europe is really cool. In Europe, for example, you can walk down the street with girls. You can, you can hang out in pubs and drink beer. You can, should life lead you in such European-like directions. You can slow dance with old men in their living rooms. It's all available for you in Europe. 